Jetstar cancels several flights in Bali, causing travel chaos. Jetstar, an Australian budget airline, blames flight cancellations and delays on engineering challenges, a lack of workforce, and aircraft constraints. The ongoing issues are wreaking havoc on Bali visitors who are desperate to return home. Delays and cancellations force tourists to take other, sometimes longer, routes back to Australia or wait for a flight to become available. Rebooking flights and itineraries costs passengers hundreds of dollars merely to return home. Families must return their children to school, professionals must return to work, and travelers who rely on prescription drugs are running short, even if they carry it extra just in case. Jetstar's last-minute modifications, delays, and cancellations have been a problem since the beginning of September. Up to Monday, September 5, it is estimated that about 4,000 Australians were affected by the travel mayhem. Some passengers have had to wait up to five days for confirmation of a return trip. According to a spokeswoman for the Daily Mail, there were just 200 passengers waiting for alternate flights on Monday. However, the continuous problems are eroding public faith in the airline. We had 12 friends who were on the midnight flight last night, they had their trip cancelled, they can't get another flight anywhere for 7 people until Friday this week, so they've got to find additional accommodation and everything, Megan Mulder from Melbourne told the newspaper. Mulder was in Bali with her husband, Adrian, and their two children when the turbulence started. She went on to describe how other people they were traveling with had spent more than $10,000 on tickets from Bali to Kuala Lumpur, and then from Kuala Lumpur back to Australia. Despite a protracted delay, the Mulder family was ultimately able to catch a flight home. Travelers who have been delayed for more than five days are losing tolerance with the situation. Casey Emerson told reporters that her trip home from Bali was scheduled on September 1st but was cancelled twice. Emerson and her companion are seeking for any way home and have little faith in Jetstar to deliver a solution. Our only choice to travel home sooner is via Qantas, which is over $1,500 apiece, which isn't something we can afford, since we still have housing, food, dog sitter costs, and so on to pay while here before getting reimbursed by Jetstar, she stated. Emerson said that Jetstar's only alternative will not bring them home until the end of the week. Jetstar has told us the next flight they can get us on is the 8th of September to arrive by the 9th of September, which is unacceptable for both of us, she explained. I am self-employed, and my partner is a boss agent. We have lost roughly $5,000 in income while being stranded in Bali. There is a notion that being stranded in Bali appears to be a stroke of luck. The reality is far different for the great majority of individuals. Thousands of people save for years, arrange time off work, and plan logistics at home before spending 7 to 14 days in Bali. There is very little room for error. Furthermore, airlines should be able to be depended on to provide what consumers have paid for and, if necessary, give feasible solutions. JetBlue has met with the media to explain their side of the story and apologized for the inconvenience. Unfortunately, our Boeing 787 fleet has been hampered by a variety of concerns, including a lightning strike, a bird strike, runway damage and delays in locating a specific spare component for one of our planes owing to global supply chain constraints. The part must be road freighted across the United States. The majority of impacted customers have now been re-accommodated on an alternate aircraft, and our staff are working diligently to arrange an alternative trip for the remaining impacted passengers, they said. Passengers who no longer desire to go will be offered a flight credit or refund.